Hello and welcome to this little uh, tutorial for uh, the Dust downloader app that I made for uh, Dust Force. You'll find the download link in the description. And uh, this is the content that you will find when you unzip the download. So um, first of all, we have uh, the configuration folder. Uh, there is a gconfig folder. Do not delete this, please. Uh, there will be another configuration custom configuration generated afterwards we will see that uh, in just a bit uh, then we have the db uh, folder this is basically where all the metadata uh, i call it the index for all the custom maps lights basically more or less uh, duplicate on what you find on atlas and uh, this is the main app once we start the app it will take a while because it will read through the whole db folder and it will all will also refresh uh, its index and this is how it looks like uh, it has also created a new folder called maps uh, it will cache all the map downloads in this folder and uh, it also has created now the config you can delete this one if you uh, if you want if there is uh, something that you want to get rid of we'll, we'll get to it a little bit later what's stored in the config anyway so uh, this is the current version 0.2.1 and this is what you can do with it uh, basically you can just scan uh, atlas for new maps as you can see it already does that on startup I found 25 maps since the last time i ran it so the longer you uh, don't run it the longer it will take to basically get up to date and uh, get all the recent metadata uh, then we have a download path this is basically just uh, the path where the maps will be stored i would recommend to point that directly into your uh, dust force folder where your custom maps reside but you can also just put it into a different folder like download maps this is the default and it will just uh, pop up here once we download a map and uh, then we have the atlas search so basically what this is is uh, it offers the same functionality as uh, what atlas does uh, you can search by name for example if i search for yoda it will uh, query atlas and basically bring me all the maps with which are related to Yota. This is the map list. Um, so one thing that uh, I, I made here is that uh, if I do another search, it will add them to the list. So uh, for example, if we look for... Um, uh, let's look for a map maker. Let's look for C and let's get 10 C maps and you'll see they will be added here. So um, with this, you can basically compile your own map pack if you want. If you want to clear the map list, just clear, uh, click on clear map list over here and it will just remove all the maps. Um, so once you are once you know what you want to download, you can basically uh, select them and it will say seven maps selected and then you press download and it will just start downloading all the maps and as you can see a new folder has appeared here. This is the downloaded maps folder. Um, usually when you put it, uh, when you point it to your uh, Dustforce custom map directory, it will put it automatically there. So there will not be a new folder created uh, in this, but uh, you can delete both of those if you feel like they are wasting space uh, at any point in time. So uh, let's clear the map list um, and let's just increase the amount. Let's say we want to get uh, basically all the maps from C. The, the highest amount is 999 um, just for, I had to, make some kind of uh, limit. So these are all the maps that are made by C. You can just press Control A if you want to download all of them. It's 91 maps and then for example press download and you got all the maps uh, made by C. Uh, what you can also do is uh, you can ignore some tags. For example if I don't want maps that are using dust mod I can just uh, enter dust mode there and uh, it should maybe 
There are no maps. Let's take another uh, tag. Let's take short. Okay. So now you can see all the short maps have been uh, crossed out and marked as red. So you can still select them, but if you press on download, those maps won't be downloaded. But they will still show up in the list, so keep that in mind. All the ignored maps will always show up in the list. Also, you can uh, add multiple ones. So let's see what this one has. This one has forest, so let's uh, exclude forest as well. Make sure that you don't have any kind of white spaces here. Uh, the white spaces are not filtered out. That's simply because some tags include white spaces themselves. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. No white spaces in here. Otherwise, it will probably not work. You can also remove that, those again. And uh, you're back on track. Also, if you update this, it will store it in your config file. So, if at any point in time you feel like uh, you have... Uh, done something wrong, you've ignored uh, the wrong maps, you can just delete the config file and it will reset. You can also just basically select a bunch of maps and then press ignore all selected and it will just ignore those specific maps and you can unignore them. That's why they still pop up in the list so you're able to unignore them and then you see that, uh, that you still see the maps which you have ignored. Because otherwise it may, you may end up with like empty lists or stuff like that. And uh, that may be confusing for a lot of people. That's why uh, ignored maps are still showing up in the list. Now, let's uh, get to the probably... Well, well let's search again. Let's uh, go quickly uh, on what you see. This is basically uh, the map maker. So as I said, I searched for maps by C. Uh, this is the rating and you see how many votes that has been cast on this map, uh, the difficulty rating and the release date and all the tags. That's uh, just the details of, of the map, each individual. Uh, sometimes um, the, the image will take a while uh, for loading. Um, we'll maybe see that a little bit later because by default the images are not downloaded because it may just uh, cause unnecessary traffic that you you may not not even need so um, they will be basically downloaded when you click on it if it's not already in the index anyway let's clear the map list and uh, let's see um, the power so this is uh, the index search as you can see we currently have like 4981 indexed maps that should be all the maps currently available on Atlas. And you can search by date, you can search by min rating and difficulty and or a combination of all of them. So what I personally like to do is just uh, search for a given month. Let's take the 1st of January 2020 and end it with the 31st of January. And then press search. You see, you'll see uh, this goes a lot faster. And these should be all the maps that have been released in January to, to 2020. Um, yeah. So, and again, you can basically stack them. You can also add uh, the February maps if you want. And uh, I think that was... I'm not sure whether it eats... This test may cause actually an error. Yeah, invalid date format. So I think this year was actually a shift year. So let's take the 29th. And so, yeah, it, it just added those maps to the list as well. If you don't want to do that, make sure to press a clear map list before you search again. Otherwise, you will end up with pretty long map lists. Then you can select those which you want or ignore some tags and whatever you like and once you're ready press download and you should download should be able to download all the maps uh, immediately well it may take a while but uh, anyway yeah that's uh, that's basically it here you see like the, the image sometimes takes a little little bit of loading and it's downloading some background metadata again um, there is also full index scan which basically goes through every map on Atlas and does a complete 
rewrite of the index, I would highly recommend to not use this. This is just uh, basically an emergency button in case your index has been messed up. Uh, hopefully that does never happen. But anyway, it's there in case you need it. But please use it responsibly. Um, because it may cause a lot of traffic towards uh, Atlas, which is uh, not necessary. Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, you can also clear the download folder, which uh, basically just deletes all the maps in, yeah, in this folder. That's, that's it. That's uh, all the stuff that's currently available in uh, this first release. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to poke me on Reddit, Discord or in the comments below. And I'll usually answer pretty quickly. If you have feature requests, you can also leave them there. But I will. I can't promise that I will implement any stuff. It really depends on how much time and I have and how much other things. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm up to, and in which mood I am. So um, yeah, that's uh, the dust downloader. I hope you enjoy and uh, yeah, I hope it's help helpful for you. Bye bye.